What's up? I trust you are well. All scant 12 here sharing with you my 100 days of code challenges and we are now at day 6 exercise 3. This is just a continuation of our character named Reborg to reach the goal shown with a plug by avoiding obstructions or hurdles but this time with the increase in difficulty. Here is the additional information about the hurdle race exercise 3rd challenge for you to read. Once we are done reading the additional information and understand what we should be doing, let's get started with the coding. If you missed the last two parts, I highly suggest that you watch them first, then come back to this exercise. So going back to this third challenge, we will be writing a code for rework to avoid the wall or hurdle. So the way I think of solving this challenge is by using the if function. Let's try it, but before writing any code, Let's take a look at the Reborg's basic keyboard and check what is that condition that we can use. As you can see here, we can use the condition wall in front. Let's try it now. So we will keep this line 16. The next line in indented, we will have if wall in front, then indented, we will tell Reborg to jump. Then if there's no wall in front, we will just let Reborg to move forward and this can be captured by using the else function. Let's see if this will work. Oops, Reborg hits the wall. That is because if Reborg is standing in front of the wall, Reborg's first move should be to turn left. But if you look at how we defined or created the jump function, we started by move action. To fix this problem, we have to remove that move action at the beginning of the jump definition. Let's delete this line and give it a try to see if this will work now. If there is a hurdle in front of the robot, Reborg will perform the jump definition under the if function. And if there is no hurdle or wall in front of the robot, our robot will just basically perform the command under the else function, which is just to move forward. There you have it, task completed. I hope you find this video interesting. If you are new to my channel or are a turning viewer who can still see that red subscribe button, why don't you click it now to show support to my YouTube videos. I would highly recommend that you also click the notification bell so you will get notifications and won't miss out on my future video uploads. Oh, before I leave, I'm gonna give you a hint of what's coming up next. Here's that sort of problem we will be solving in the next challenge. If you are someone studying Python, why don't you solve this challenge in advance and compare your solution with mine? Once again, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you will get notified of my future video uploads. Have a great day and thank you for watching. God bless. Cheers.